This week on the bench, I'm going to tie you up a fly we call the Hulk. And you'll see why we call it that once I finish the tie. It is a great walleye pattern, so make sure you have these materials ready before you start tying. For the hook, we're going to use a size 4 Mustad C70 SD, some 3 aught black thread to tie with, a 3 16 inch hot orange bead, some medium peacock chenille for the body, some fluorescent chartreuse with black tipped rabbit strip for the zonker back, and some fluorescent chartreuse with black tipped rabbit strip for the collar. I started the fly by wrapping in my base layer of black thread. Now what I'm going to do is take my fluorescent chartreuse rabbit strip and I'm going to measure it out about the, uh, about the length of the hook, just a little bit more, and pull the rabbit back and tie that in with a few turns just to secure that rabbit onto the back of the hook and then move forward and take a few turns in front of the rabbit. Take a strand of your medium peacock chenille Strip off a little bit from the, from the end to expose the rope underneath. Tie it in right at the back of the hook and then move forward right to the bead and wrap in a body. And this body we want to keep thin. I only want one wrap over this body just to bring it forward and finish off with the bead. Now that the body is tied in, we're going to take our rabbit that we had sitting back. We're going to pull it forward and tie it in right behind the bead and secure it in. Take a few wraps, trying not to get too much rabbit on there, and trim off any excess you have right close to the bead. Next step will be take our rabbit that we had sitting back and bring it forward. But first, I'm going to wrap my thread back about a quarter of an inch from the bead because I want to leave a little room for the collar we're going to put in. Now that the zonker back is tied in, we're actually going to move back to our rabbit that we tied in to the back of the hook. Make it about, about length and a half of the hook. Cut it there. So now what we're going to do is form a dubbing loop. So I've got a little, little loop tool here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to form a dubbing loop. And I'm going to loop in here. I'm going to put in my rabbit and form a dubbing loop. Now you want to keep this rabbit long. So when you put it in there, put it in the lengthwise and keep it as long as possible. Now that I have the dubbing, or actually the rabbit, into the dubbing loop, I'm going to just tighten it up just to form a nice dubbing loop. And you want these hairs to stick out. You want them to pull out. And just keep pulling out any strays that you have as you wrap it up. And then wrap it in for the collar. And this collar is just really there to cover the thread, and we're going to actually pick it out at the end just to give it a a flared look near the head. To finish the fly off, take your whip finisher and whip finish right behind the bead where you tied the collar in. And again, just a few wraps. You only need three or four. You can head cement this. I don't, but there's an option you can. And then what we're going to do is take a dubbing picker and I just like to, to pick that collar out. You just want a few hairs, a few stray rabbit hairs flailing out from the, from right behind the bead, just to form a real small collar. You just want a real small collar on this fly. And that gives it the look of legs. So there it is, the finished hulk. You can tell why we call it that. It's big, it's green, it's ugly, but it does catch a lot of walleye. Give it a try. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sf otf.ca and if you like to book an adventure like this one shown head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.